All right, guys, today I'm going to walk you through the process for printing your physical inventory document uh, paperwork. So you will need this so that you can go down and do your inventory, whether you're giving it to your clerk, giving it to one of your mechanics, whoever you've uh, passed this on to, they're going to need this so that they know what to inventory, uh, where it's at, if it has a bin location, and then on here, they're just going to write off to the side here how many they find of whatever. So it's going to tell them whether it's each or 100 or a kit, whatever it is, it's going to determine it and then just put the corresponding numbers. So a good way to reference this is uh, you can pull up your mat sit and it's going to tell you what it has in stock for you. So you can kind of bounce it off there. So when it says 100, it may say 1 or it may say 100. So just make sure that you're paying attention to those things. Um, to do this, you're going to want to know what your physical inventory document number is. You can go back to MI31, MI24, one of those um, to pull up what inventories you have available and then pull it from there. Uh, this is a fairly simple process. There's nothing um, too involved with it. It's just another T code that you have to go through. So we'll go ahead and get on the computer. But first, I want to say is uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Give the video a thumbs up and comment below if you have any more questions after you've watched the video. So let's get on the computer. All right, for this one, we're going to go to MI21. So that's Mike India 21. And what you're going to need is your inventory number. You can pull it up by other ways, but we're just going to pull it up by the inventory number. Click on it and then it's going to automatically tell you to print it or print preview. So I'm going to pull it up and show you what it looks like here. And as I said, you have eaches, hundreds, sometimes you'll see a kit or it could be gallons. It all depends on what it is. It gives you a storage location of where it's at if it has one. Uh, it does not tell you how many it shows in stock, but it does in the system when you go to put it in show what... Uh, you should have in stock with your mat sit so you can bounce your mat sit off this and then kind of like get an idea This tells your batch code. So sometimes you might have an F code or Bravo or Charlie, I mean there's a lot of different options. I chose just alphas and I chose ones that had bin locations just for the purpose of this video so uh, Again, you don't have to have the inventory number you can go in and put your plant location your storage location and then click on there bring it up we want to pull up ones that have not been counted yet preview it and again it's going to bring it up so this is the exact same one all right guys again it's a fairly simple process this is just another step for what you have to do um there's nothing saying that you you uh, you have to have this. You could already have your inventory just wrote on another document. You just have to go back in and find it that way and input it that way. But this just makes it a little bit easier because when you go in to plug in your inventory numbers, what your count was, it's in order based off of this, whereas your count might be all over the place. So just food for thought. Um, Next video will be over going over inputting the count, so make sure you look out for that video, and hopefully you got something from it, another tool for your kit bag. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.